one of the tricky things to get across is that sometimes these concepts of curl and divergence may violate our intuition. They're local concepts. They depend on derivatives. They only depend on little kind of tiny rates of change. And so the picture of the vector field might be misleading. The picture might make it look like the vector field is expanding, but in fact, it's not. It's contracting instead. And so to get a more accurate idea of what curl and divergence are, expressing, we have to look in a small region. So here are two pictures of divergence or two pictures of vector fields that are gonna have different divergence. So in this one, the vector field is gonna have positive divergence. And in this one, the vector field is gonna have negative divergence. Even though both kind of look like they're expanding away from the lower left-hand corner. The point is that divergence is local. It's measuring expansion or contraction. So you have to imagine like maybe this is a crowd of people all running away from a Walmart or something like that. And if you're at this particular position, you wanna know whether people are crowding in towards you or whether you're kind of gradually getting more and more space. And the idea is here, because the rates of change outward, the vector is pointing outward, tend to be stronger than the vectors that are pointing inward, there's a release, there's a sense of, there's a change in that less is there as time goes on. Whereas in this picture, if I'm stuck at kind of the same position or maybe somewhere down here, the ones that are coming inwards are much stronger than the ones that are going out. And so the net rate of flow is that there's more force pushing you from behind than there is force going outwards. And so there's, a net negative divergence, you're being crushed, even though it looks similar on first glance at a pic from a picture. Curl is the same way. Here are two vector fields, one from the example and one from the other example. This one has positive scalar curl. And this one has a negative scalar curl. And they look both like they're rotating counterclockwise. This vector field is globally right, rotating counterclockwise, and this other vector field is also globally rotating counterclockwise. But curl is local. We have to imagine that we're stuck at some kind of position inside these vector fields, and we're asking, is the vector field rotating us more clockwise, or is the vector field rotating us counterclockwise? And the point is, if we're in the picture on the left, the vector field on our kind of on one side of us is stronger than the vector field on the other. And so the net amount of push that we're getting is harder on the shoulder that's far away from the origin. And so we get spun in a counterclockwise direction. For negative, for this other one instead, the vectors close to the origin are actually stronger than the ones far away. And so if we're stuck at this position in the vector field, the forces are opposite. The force that's close, the shoulder that's closer to the origin is being pushed harder than the shoulder that's far away. And we get spun in the opposite direction. So that's why divergence and curl can be confusing is that without actually calculating them, they can be very, very sensitive to exactly what's going on locally as opposed to the global features.